Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com with another great tip on how to use Presonus Studio One Prime, the free DAW, for your podcasting production. Podcasting production is no different than doing multi-track recording, recording your vocal podcasting on one track and having a background music on another track. Here is a quick example of what I have actually recorded using track one. It is a mono track. Using my microphone, I've just recorded uh, a phrase. And let's have a quick listen. This is a demonstration on how to use Personas Studio One Prime DAW for podcasting that actually has background music that ducks during conversation and ducks again when the conversation continues. Of course, you can actually use the editing function of Persona Studio One to remove any noise and edit it, any words that you want to add, remove and shift in normal editing format. The other track is your background music track. Now remember, Prime only accepts WAV format. So if you have MP3 files, first you need to actually convert them into a WAV file because Prime, one of its limitations that it only imports and export WAV files in 16-bit format. Now let's play both tracks together with our background music and our uh, podcasting voiceover. This is a demonstration on how to use Personas Studio One Prime DAW for podcasting that actually has background music that ducks during conversation. Okay, as you can hear, the music is actually overpowering uh, the vocals, so you can hardly hear the uh, you know announcer. One way to do is manually put the fader down and up, but we are talking about recording, so you don't want to do it manually. One way is to automate it by clicking here as Expand Envelopes button. Let me move that down. You can see we can use automation for the volume so that the volume is goes down when our announcer speaks and then goes back up again when there's no conversation and then down again and up again. So this is sort of manual automation. So let's turn it on. Let's have a listen this time to see how it sounds. This is a demonstration on how to use Personas Studio One Prime DAW for podcasting that actually has background music that ducks during conversation and ducks again when the conversation continues. Now, that sounds really much better, doesn't it? Because the music is not interrupting the announcer and we can actually hear uh, all the words that the announcer is talking. Now, this is all good, fine good if you're doing one-off. But what if you are doing podcasting maybe once a week or maybe once a day? Then going in and using automation um, manually or you know using the fader um, to automate it, it's a lot of hard work. This, surely there must be an easier way. Well, glad you asked because there is. Just going to turn this one off because I'm not going to use the auto manual automation. I'm going to use my channel strip. I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's have a look what my vocal track has on my channel strip. It's simply using a little bit of compression to balance all the peaks and using expand to get rid of some of the background noise when I'm not talking. Removing some of the low end, uh, get the muddiness out and a little bit of boost there uh, to brighten up my vocal or the announcer's vocal. That's what we're doing. So that's it. That's all what's doing over there. Here in this channel strip, I'm using 100% compression on the background music and on slow and that's about it unless I really need to EQ it but in this case I don't need to EQ it so I'm not doing anything about it but one thing is important right here sidechain make sure it's in blue what that does is that allows an external audio to control the compression 
not the actual tracks audio, but an external audio. In this case, we're going to use the announcer audio to turn on the compression. And what compression does is actually turns down the volume automatically. So, whenever the announcer is talking, that means there's an audio signal coming from the side chain, the compression is enabled, it ignores what the background music audio level is completely, it only uses the announcer's audio to turn compression on at 100%, bringing the volume down automatically. Now, how do we tell how the sidechain works? That works about right here, using send. So basically, in this case, if you click, see you've got send to main, sidechain. That's only because we enabled the sidechain of the background music track. You can see there's sidechain. Okay. And then with the sidechain, we are using pre-fader so that our fader volume, if we want to adjust later on, it does not affect the background music. It still get, gets a fader compressed down. And I'm using 100%, um, you know, plus 10 dB to send the audio so that it really compresses the background music down. And let's have a look how this one works. This is a demonstration on how to use Personas Studio One Prime DAW for podcasting that actually has background music that ducks during conversation and ducks again when the conversation continues. So as you can see, we got the same result. Uh, instead of automation of the volume control, we are using the compressor to turn the background music down. Just watch out and see how the compressor for the background music comes down, down to minus 24 dB, which is the right amount to compress for background music when um, the announcer is on. So just let's play it again and you can see what actually happens there. No compression. This is a demonstration on how to use Personas Studio One Prime DAW for podcasting that actually has background music that ducks during conversation and ducks again when the conversation continues. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now, there's a lot of advantages using this method because if I decide that I want to move my announcer to start a bit later on, just as the music is speaking. Um, and if I want to, let's close that, if I want to make even more, it will not matter. I don't have to adjust the automation again. See, now the automation is completely out of phase from what I need to do. Um, so that that means I got to go back and readjust it if I was using automation. But because of uh, using the compressor, I don't have to. Let's have a listen. This is a demonstration on how to use Personas Studio One Prime DAW for podcasting that actually has background music that ducks during conversation. and ducks again when the conversation continues. Okay, I hope that uh, explains it uh, even better. Now, here is uh, another great tip that uh, if you watch it all the way through, uh, you're going to get. Now, once, let's assume that this podcasting is finished and we exported it into WAVE and then converted it into MP3 and uploaded it into our uh, podcasting service or, or the website. And... Next time you want to go, it's quite easy. You just you can go ahead and delete these and record your new track. So let's have a listen and uh, we'll, let, let's record it again. Let's mute the background track so that it doesn't annoy us. Let's see if it if this is going to work. 
This is our next podcasting service that we are recording. Thanks for joining us again. And this is demonstration of how a second version of the podcast can be edited. Well, I hope this was really, really helpful. Let's close that. Let's have a listen and see how our podcasting worked. One thing I would normally do here is uh, probably normalize the audio so we get the maximum volume because we need the volume to actually affect the backing track. This is okay, let's go. This is our new recording. This is our next podcasting service that we are recording. Thanks for joining us again. And this is demonstration of how a second version of the podcast can be edited. Well, I hope this was really, really helpful. As you can see, made it really easy. For all future recording, it'll be perfect. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I will do more. Once we finish the second one, we can delete it. And what we can do is go to File, Save as Template. Let's call it Podcast Music Ducking and so on. And OK. Now this time, when we want to create a new song, under User, Podcast Music Ducking. That means it will load our background music, our vocal track that we can record our voice is already set up, ready to go. All the ducking all the, um, is all, all ready to go. So we straight ahead, we can just go and record our podcast and the background music will all automatically duck every time the announcer comes on. And there we go. Well, I hope this was actually helpful. And now you know how you can use Personas Studio One Prime, the free DAW for your podcasting uh, as well. If this video was helpful, please give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That way you get notified any new tips and ideas uh, I upload on my channel to be notified ASAP. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Cheerio.